This is Hometown Louisville with Tom Owen. Today I'm telling the story of an East Breckenridge Street photo mystery. In the early 1960s, two University of Louisville fine arts professors set out with cameras to photograph buildings throughout some of the oldest parts of Louisville. Remember, this was a time when urban renewal and expressway construction bulldozed giant swaths of old buildings, and Ted Brown and Bob Doherty were determined to at least preserve on film what was quickly disappearing. That Brown-Doherty photo team generated thousands of images, and the University of Louisville's Archives and Special Collections, where I work, recently started readying them for research. Before too long, we plan to add them to our growing online digital collections. But first, we must try our best to describe each image as fully as possible so it can be searched by multiple data points. The other day, a colleague invited me to look over her shoulder at one unidentified photo in the Brown Doherty collection. And now for starters, in a listing in the 1960 Louisville City Directory, she had already found Waterstones Market on the northwest corner of East Breckenridge Street at Hancock in the Smoketown neighborhood. Ah, so you'd think our work of locating the scene was done. The problem is that the view today looking west through a Google Street View shows a much different block face on that north side. The grocery is gone, replaced by a vacant lot. The long row of houses hint at what once was but lordy, there's so much that just doesn't look right. One historic duplex, oh, it's recognizable in the foreground, but many of the other brick, brick residences are not the same. If that's a frame church next to the second duplex, it's certainly gone. And perhaps most importantly, what's that tallest hulk of a building brooding horizontally as you squint your eyes to look down Breckenridge Street to Jackson Street. Well, we discovered through a return look at that city directory that indeed St. John Baptist Church stood about one third down the block and a search of the back files of the Daily Courier Journal turned up a report that the old Booker T. Washington Elementary School that anchored the northwest corner at Jackson Street, surrounded on two sides by the more modern Jackson Street Junior High, oh, you now know it as Mazeek Middle, was scheduled in 1962 for demolition, not long after the photo was taken. So that's the giant building down the block where a parking lot now hugs that corner. Further, a call to youth build a local buildings trades training program for young people reminded us that their workers a couple of years ago had converted the duplex next to the vacant lot into an affordable single family home as part of a larger effort to relocate residents of the nearby Shepherd Square public housing, which was being demolished and totally redeveloped. I also learned that the same effort involved both rehabbing a few houses in the block and infilling with new homes designed in a 19th century brick bungalow design, explaining why the old streetscape doesn't match building by building the current view as seen through the Google Street View. By the way, don't let the U.S. Highway 42 street sign in the photo fool you into believing that the photo was somehow over on Brownsboro Road in the Clifton neighborhood where Highway 42 is found. A look at a 1950 Louisville street map showed that Breckenridge Street, right where we were standing, was part of a pre-interstate cross-town link that connected the city's old highway from Cincinnati 
that's 42, to Dixie Highway, that's 31W, our historic route to Nashville. The cameras of U of L's fine art professors Ted Brown and Bob Doherty captured forever what the north side of East Breckenridge between Hancock and Jackson Street looked like back in the early 1960s. But it took some real sleuthing using other historical sources to make us comfortable that that much, much altered scene was indeed where we first thought it was. Holding a photo from almost 60 years ago, we came face to face with continuity and change. Well, thanks for watching. I'm pedaling off now in search of the next installment of Hometown Louisville with Tom Owen.